paramedics are on their way. Oh my god, what a nightmare! Oh my god! Karen! Karen. Karen. I'm in medical distress. Karen, I'm in mass hysteria here, in shock. I had never seen anything like this before. It was 4.45, I heard the three chimes in my door, that one of my four doors was being opened. All of a sudden, I wake up in the middle of the night, and someone's in my house. That put me in a panic mode. I jumped up out of bed, grabbed the gun, and heard footsteps coming down the hallway toward my bedroom. The gun was cocked because I didn't know who it was, because I felt like it was an intruder. I heard somebody coming in my house. I, I didn't know who was coming in. I saw it was Philip in the doorway. I said to him, what are you doing here? Oh my God, you scared me to death. What's his name? Philip. My boy. He's your boyfriend? The love of my life. At that point in time, I had had the gun up over my head, and he had come across the room and said, let me do it, I'll do it. Throw my arm, and I said, no, don't do this. He put the gun to his head, and I shouted, screaming at him, stop, don't do it, don't do it, it's loaded. And he told me twice, I'm not going to live my life without you. And he shot himself. There is no way that he would ever have killed himself. He wouldn't leave his children. He loved those girls, loved them like I've not probably ever seen any father. I'm Karen Kelly, and um, back in July 27, 2011, I was accused of shooting and killing my boyfriend. I just know that Philip Petros would not have been shot, but for what Philip Petros did. When that six foot two construction worker body guy took a hold of that 100 pound realtor, she was no longer in control of that gun and whatever happened was just not her fault. If you point a loaded gun at somebody or bring a loaded gun out into the argument, and that gun goes off and kills somebody. That's not an accident. That's a homicide.